He is here. Taurus Riley, welcome. Give thanks. Karibusana. All right, that yeah, means... Yeah, Karibusana means welcome. All right, thank you. Yeah, welcome to Nairobi. You should yeah. you should have learned a few words by now. I mean, Naji, Naji. Niaje? Niaje. Yes. What's up? Yeah, yeah that, that one you know. I'm welcome working on it. This is Naziki teaching me some words, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, you know, we did come at us, so I'm learning, you know what I mean, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> how has the food been? The food, people talk about how exceptional the food um, is in Nairobi. Well, to tell you the truth, I do I haven't had a lot of food. Okay. Because I don't like to eat a lot before I perform. Yeah. After the performance, I won't get into the food. That's after tomorrow now. Yeah, but I'm just like, you know, fruits and vegetables and this. Yeah. Light. Do you cook? I do very well. Oh, really? What, do you, yeah. what is it like the best? Well, I'm vegan, vegetarian, so mm -hmm. I just cook everything I can. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so okay. holy for different sip, holy for different stew, holy for different things mm -hmm. like that. All right. I hope I will understand Taurus throughout this interview. Yeah, I'm going to take my time answer. and talk to you. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So you were saying you've seen me somewhere. This yeah, is the first time I've got a very familiar face. Ah. I've seen you somewhere, but you're a superstar, so maybe I've seen you on the internet. Are you, I'm, I'm a superstar. Yeah. And, and you are a... I'm working on it. <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah, that is I mean, a big lie. Yeah. You're a big, big superstar. Thank you. And you know, your journey to music started when you were very, very, very mm -hmm. young. And one of the first songs that you recorded was about, you know, kids staying in school and, you know, working hard. Did I get that right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, you know, as a kid, you have to sing about kid things. Mm -hmm. So that's what the experience that I had. And, you know, so I have to sing about where I am in life. Yeah. So I'm singing about don't come back. That means, you know, I have more experience. Yes. So when you're a kid, you sing about kids things. When you become a young man, you sing about young man things. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah. And then, you know, someone as, you know, fortunate as you are growing up and, you know, looking at, you know, seeing your father be this mm -hmm. huge star, his soul rest in peace yeah. and just completely taking over the world. He was like an enigma. You know, wow. he was a force, a pioneer like yeah. in Lover's Rock. How does that feel, you know, coming after him, you know, with the incredibly huge influence that he had on reggae music well i mean it's cool that you know i get to be around him mm. so it, a lot of writing about it in history it sounds crazy but just being around it was natural mm. i used to be in a studio when i was really young and you know me and my father was good friends so that was the cool part about it so when you write it down on paper it sounds crazy but when you're living it it's just natural mm. so i see people like dennis brown gregory isaac garnet silk you name them Butch Bantan, Sizzla, Cape, all of these artists, they're just my father friends. And wow. I used to just be around and I just see them all the way. Wow. Yeah. So the hashtag Free Buju has been trending for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. In a few more days, we're counting Months. down, right? Yeah. Well, it's still December. Yeah, yeah. So People well, are counting down days. days. It's 68 days to, I and think. And that's how many months? Two months. That is. So I mean, that tomato, tomato. True. That is very true. <laughs> so, I mean, are you, are, are you excited? Are you, are yeah, you yeah, I'm very excited. But I mean, you know. Butch Bantan is an artist where I really check for your music. Mm -hmm. I really love the music, so... And I get to know him and me and him get to do concerts and even have good conversation. Mm -hmm. So, the whole world is looking forward to that. And yeah. I am also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you're, you know, you're inspired by a lot of women. You're surrounded... By a lot of by women. By phenomenal women. Let me, let me wow. take that back. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm inspired by a lot hola, of women. Hold on, I was going what to say... What do you know about me? <laughs> <laughs> What I meant was, uh -huh. you are surrounded by very phenomenal women, right? And you have grown up with, you know, um, the likes of your grandmother being very mm -hmm. uh, strict and very, uh, how do I, how do I say this? She's a grandmother, like every yes. grandmother. Like every very she wanted to have the foundation. Yes. I mean, my mother close. Yeah, but you yeah. were once quoted to have said, you know, that you feel like women have the realest of conversations. I'm not sure yeah, what that me. meant. Oh, with you? Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of woman friends, mm -hmm. so I find out that when I speak to them. For some reason, they're more honest to me more than my man friend them. Mm -hmm. So a woman will talk it to you and tell it like it is, even when, you know, you might not want to hear it. But a man, man don't really talk to man. Man will say, yeah, man. But a woman say, look, you need to know her. You know? So yeah. I just like sometimes a woman reason. Yeah. You learn a lot from women by reasoning with them and talking to them. That is true. And then, yeah. you know, the other thing, you know, now that you said that, <laughs> there's a friend of mine right now who has been diagnosed with uh, depression. And, you depression. know, the mental health, yes. Wow. And mental health is a conversation that people, you know, often don't have as much. Women share their problems and they talk to one another, but men, men don't. That's why them live longer than men. Because they have a way to release. Mm. You know what I mean? A man just holding everything. So a man explodes. Yeah. yeah, and then it becomes, you know, you just feel like die. you're by yourself. Oh, and then <laughs> die. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag is here. I mean, if you have any question for Taurus Riley, we're going to take them tonight. So at the Trend Live, send them through. Very important for you to send them through. Now, um, you talk a lot about the motherland and Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Why? Well, you don't know, as some Rasta youth, you know, we always grow with the teaching 
of Africa, Ethiopia, the motherland, the great love, civilization, all of that. So a lot of people in Africa don't know how lucky them is. You know what I mean? Because everything starts in Africa. So, you know, I have a spiritual connection with Africa long before my feet come here physically. Mm. So, you know, Africa is everything to me. And definitely. here you are. Was it everything you sort of dreamt about and would sort of yeah, envision when more. you were younger? And more. Oh, wow. Why is that? Because I, I love how, I, I love to see, to see things happening. You know, it's not just what we hear about in the storybook. It's things happening. I like to see movement and progress. Mm. We love that. Even with African music and stuff like that. Mm. So it's cool. Real tech feed. Yeah. And once again, you know, we are Rasta people, so Rasta people always admire Africa and chant Africa right around the world. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the other, pro you know, because you've talked about progress, the other thing yeah. that's really evolved and changed is that for a long time when it came to, to you know, American songs and a lot of European jams as well, mm -hmm. they would feature rappers, hip-hop rappers, and now mm -hmm. we see them feature more dancehall artists and reggae yeah. musicians. Um, how is that? Is that part of the shift and the change that is happening in the industry? Or is it just having more connections? Well, the world is becoming a smaller place because of the internet. So people get to understand and look at what's going on in Jamaica, in Africa, in China. You can just take up your phone and watch what's going on in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So music, you know, people love music. So there's a lot of fusion going on. Yeah. Everybody mixing up the music and mixing up them style. Yeah. So, you know, once upon a time, you, you didn't have so much places to look. Yes. But now you have more options. That is very true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of your biggest songs in this country, I'm sure you travel all, all around the world, mm -hmm. but then one of your biggest songs in this country, right, is just the way, the way you, are. you are, girl. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. a big song. Did your blessing nice. have it? Drop um, a tune. Drop a tune. There we go. Big song. All right. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I love to love you. Sorry. She wants to be like, like the people on TV, like you. Bless it, produce it. So it's a very big song here in Kenya. Okay. You're cool. going to have to pull Thanks. it up like 10 times when you perform tomorrow. No problem. Were I you like surprised that. with the reception? Was I surprised with the reception? Yes, I know. Um, Why I say yes, I know. I never knew it would take off that fast. But then I know it's a good song, and I know that the message is like undeniable. Because mm. people need, you know to feel encouraged with music. That's what my music is about. Yeah. To lift up your spirit. So I say, yo, a man say, yo, I love you just the way you are. Yeah, man. Where did we it come from? need to get that message out there. Yeah. It's very important, especially for young women. Yeah, So that definitely. they don't have to enhance their body. Yeah, and you know, with everything going on, one second, internet, everybody want to do breast and this and that mm -hmm. and, uh, you know what I mean, plastic surgery. And I'm not knocking anyone who want to do that. But, you know, what about the people who are comfortable they are? They need a song for that. So mm -hmm. I have every song. Yeah. I have a song for every mood, so, you know, there's a song to tell you to fight, I have a song to tell you to say, no, you don't have to fight. So just the way you are, there's a song to tell the woman, them especially, love yourself just the way you are. Yeah. First. That means, love yourself first. Don't change because of people. That's very true. You know what I mean? And you know the understanding of beauty, or rather the, you know, now how we perceive beauty has really changed. Now we see, um, you know, a lot more uh, skinnier girls when you're looking at the magazines, when you're looking at the, when you're looking so at TV, the big you, girls, the music the videos. Girls, you know? <laughs> yes. yeah. And then, you know, we see, we see, you know, fair skin. Yeah. Bleaching anyway is a big deal in Jamaica as it is in, in some Africa, parts here yeah, in Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important for people to send that message. However, some fault also comes from the music videos that people see. Now, I know that that's not with you. However, it is with a lot of other artists. Music videos? Yes. But, uh, uh, to be honest, if we're going to talk about music videos, we're mm -hmm. going to have to talk about Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> bigger than video, you have movies that portray Superman, White Man in a Cape, you know what I mean? Yeah. Batman, uh, you know. It's just... Movies is movies, TV is TV. Once again, in the house, we just need to teach our family and friends and loved ones that look, that is not reality. The reality is, this is you, and love yourself for this year. That means even if you do want to make a change, you don't make a change because of pressure. You make a change because you love yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? So yes. I don't really come to preach to people. I just want to remind people that, yo, you can love yourself. Yeah. You're great. Yes.
It yeah. is true. Now, I want us to talk about someone who's very special in your life. Okay, um, listen. No, 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 not like that. No, 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 not like that. But someone who has um, been very influential, someone who's been like a mentor, mm -hmm. and someone who I feel like does not get enough credit for what he has done for, you know, reggae music. He um, discovered Sizzla Kalonji. Lucia, he put on Luch, right? I think and I know then you're talking about. You, now you know who yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. He has been, you know, I think he's worked on probably almost every Grammy That's nominated or winning, yeah, Jamaica. right? Isn't mm -hmm. it true? He's performed with Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, all the greats, Bob Marley, right? Um, and he's here in Nairobi with you and he's a dear friend. Who am I yeah. talking about? You're talking about Dean Fraser? Yes. Yeah, man, and Dean is definitely a big brother, a father figure, my producer, part of my management, my band leader. Yeah, man, the key bridge, you know? Yes. Yeah. So tell us more about it. And him. it does get what it does get the accolades he deserves, you know? Trust me. Mm. You can't say Dean Fraser. You have to say Dean Fraser, OD. Jamaica give him OD, the other distinction. Yeah. Yeah, so. You have to yeah. say it all. Yeah. Is he watching this interview? I know he's not he here. He's got sound check, actually, making sure everything is all right for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you're performing, are there things that sometimes go. How do you handle it when things go wrong when you're on stage? Nothing goes wrong. Oh, nothing? Yeah. Even if something happens that it's not supposed to happen. It's not wrong. It's just the vibes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because we're creative. So what is wrong with creative? Nothing. It's just creativity. That's true. It's free. It's, you're creating. He's playing a guitar. If you play a guitar and go so ching, and then play ching ching, nothing around. It's just a different vibe. So we're creating from scratch. Yeah, we don't. I don't look at it like that. I don't look at things going wrong. Mm. It's just. It's it just was creative. supposed to happen. It's just heart and soul, it. and you just give your all. Yeah. You know? Yes, it's yeah. true. And speaking <laughs> about vibes, you know, yeah. your album, every single album that you've done has had a different vibe and a different sure. theme. And it's just, you know, from challenges to acoustic, just all of them have been very different. Thank you. Sure. You, That's what I work about. Because you know what I mean? Because you know, the thing is, um, a lot of artists use, they have a sort of similar story that they tell. You know, they're, they are all about love or they're all about inspiration, but yours is very different. And For then sure. the other thing that I noticed with Taurus is that your songs, when you release a single, it's not featured on the album. An album is a completely different project. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, to the first thing that you were saying, my albums are always different because I think that the album documents a time in your life. Like, you know, you go high school, you have a school album. Then maybe you have a baby, you have an album telling that baby. story, or maybe you get married, or whatever. That different times in your life, the document. You know mm. what I mean? So that's what that album should be. Yes. So I have an album called Love Situation. So that's a no-brainer. You know, it's about love situations. That's true. So I couldn't sing about anything too, too radical or political or, you know, social. Mm. It's love situations. Mm. So now we have a new album coming out in March, and the first single is called Guess Who, and it's. Uh, Guess who's coming to dinner? A remake of that. Sly and Rabbi. And we are speak out, you know, for the ghetto youth them and the injustice where mm -hmm. them get and we just wanna say, yo, look here you now. Guess who's coming to dinner? The same youths that you turn your back on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's a different vibe for this album. Yeah. Any yeah. collaborations we can look at? A lot to? of collabs, but I don't want to give it away. Oh, okay. You want yeah. it to be a surprise? Yeah. But then again, I mean, you know, when we do look at your history of collaborations from, you know, Mr. Cheeks or the great Estelle, you boy, Ellie Golding. right? Mm -hmm. Ellie Golding and Major Lazer, right? Mm -hmm. On the song. They're all very, very different. I mean, yeah. how do you how do you pick and choose who to work with? Sometimes they pick and choose me and sometimes we just Make music and be surprised. Simple, you know, me and conscience work a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like a brother to me. Mm. So some is different situations sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So now we do have some feedback. People are talking to you on social feedback. media. Okay, yes, we do. Let's go. All right. So the hashtag is here, Amina. Usha's on the other side. Hi, Usha. Mm. Hi, Amina. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm very fine. What are, are people you... saying online? People are so excited, almost just as excited as you are. Actually, a couple of people have also commented on how excited you are. I am. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll come to that. So we have um, Irungu who says, uh, Hey, I mean, ask to us if he is going to perform Nobody Knows Tomorrow, one of the realest songs I know. Are and we also have uh, Jack who says, uh, Did Terrence just pull a Unakufa joke? Wow, sir. He's been in okay. Kenya how long? And already we've assimilated him. But Wait, well, Usha, which one was that? Uh, actually, I, I, I'm also wondering, so Jack, if you could just tweet us and let us know when exactly he did. I think it was the, uh, he doesn't eat before concerts. Yeah, but I don't really like to eat a lot of food before I perform. Uh -huh. I think it was that part. Okay. Ask, you can ask him, he can swear for you, right? Ask him. He says, I live on air. Oh, <laughs> okay, he does it? I, I just like to be, yeah, man. Okay, all right, so you just... I just drink water and just relax fruits and vegetables lightly. And then you wait for the gig. And then when I finish, I relax because, you know, 
Like anything, like a boxer or like a football player, you want to just be focused mm. and just get the job done. All right, great. That's Usha. my style. I can't tell you about anybody else. Mm. Yeah. Usha? Right, and then we also have uh, Miss Anne who says, Me watching Taurus Riley on the trend live. Why is it not Saturday yet? Well, you only have like a few hours left. I know we are all looking forward to it. Uh, then we also have Wenyoni who says, We appreciate the Rastaman for coming through. Yes. Mob love. We also have um, Kibet who says, Heard you singing, this is for Amina, Heard you singing Taurus Riley, don't come back. So you record to cover here, Sauti Imeweza. You know what, I'm thinking of starting a hashtag on the same. This is a movement we need to start because I actually think <laughs> the same. Uh, then we also have uh, Humphrey who says, I can't wait to see Taurus Riley perform just the way you are on the trend. Hint, hint, hint. You and 71 others. 71 others includes me. And we also have Don who says, um, Taurus Riley, I love his songs and we love how frequently he comes to Kenya absolutely you know what we do if we could change anything we would actually make him come even more yes. to Kenya then we also have um, Humphrey again who says I can see the true colors on Taurus Riley's shoes enough respect to you <laughs> Rastaman oh, yeah. jobless Africa now, there's actually been a lot of feedback about his shoes <laughs> oh let's see them nicely show the camera Taurus and let's get some shoe cam no man stop it man stop it stop it stop it it's nice. Are you a big sneakerhead? I do like sneakers. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Or how many do you think you have? I can't tell you. Too much. You can't count? Yeah. I, I, too much. Yeah? In fact, there's someone wanted to give you something. It's not shoes. Oh, so, man. Um, he I'm has. Oh, man. Okay, so it's not here now, but he is going to go and get it and he's going to bring it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you can take it home as a souvenir, right? Thank you. Thank so now, you. You, you know, we were talking about albums and I forgot to ask you. So now, with Macoustic being such a dope, different album, mm -hmm. is it true you don't have a copy of your own? I don't because I always give them away. I'd have to, maybe someone has one for me, but oh. I don't have one in my position. Yeah. I can't keep it. Yeah. It's like hot bread. It's just gone. Oh, so people keep taking it from you? Yeah, people take my thing. I don't have a Taurus Riley shirt. <laughs> I don't have Taurus Riley albums. Because they think because I'm Taurus Riley, I can always get one. Yeah. So them say, hey, I like the shirt. Beep. Thanks. My mom, it's just everybody take away my thing. So you don't have, well, you have these shoes, though. Yeah, these you are mine, but these don't say Tyrus Riley. Oh, they right. said Tyrus Riley, oh, look, my beard, Rastaman problems. Oh, no. <laughs> Rastaman yeah. problems. Lion problems, you know? Yeah. Now, um, uh, w your name, do people confuse your name? Like when you go to different countries, do they pronounce it differently? differently? Yeah, for okay. sure. You know, here in Kenya, the, uh, you know, in one of the communities, Tarus is a name. Okay. Yes, so that's, of course, the different Some people call me Tyrus. Some people call me Tyrius. Some people call me Titus. People just call me with them. Call and me. you take it? No, really. Let me just say, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, you say respect. Yeah. Well, go on, me there. Because nobody doesn't call it in a mean way. You know what I mean? That's why we say singy, singy. Mm. And nobody don't mix up singy, singy. Everybody yeah. have that, so. It's yeah. Good. That one is not changed. Yeah. Now, if we talk about, you know, reggae music, people say that you have to be, and this is a quote that I saw, you have, have to, to be. You, wait, so wait. Some people say reggae music is not fit for the weak, but for the strong. Okay. Is that true? That doesn't sound bad. Okay. So I, I could work that. with that. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I know that we have to finish up and you have to leave. However, I have to ask you the vision mm -hmm. for Black Soil. Brethren living according to King Selassie, overstanding the uh, standing and irritical liberty. Iritical, Did I say it right? Yeah. Yeah. Iritical. Yeah, because iry. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the vision? The vision is just, you know, loving yourself, loving the community, putting out positive messages for women and children, being creative. You know, we have a lot of Bridget. Black Soil also have to do with farming. Mm -hmm. Remember, Bridget started and he's a farmer. Mm. So definitely he cultivates and plants things. You know, and music is just like farming. Because when I make a song from nothing, it's just like you plant a seed. Mm. So it, Black Soil is really a consciousness first. And because of that consciousness, I call my band Black Soil. So anything when me I deal with me, approach it with that Black Soil consciousness. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I got that vibe from you, you know, from the minute that I met you, you're very, you're very serious about your surrounding and you're very conscious about the music you put out, the message mm, that is being sent out. Um, and it's, it's very different, you know, from a lot of other musicians who just want to entertain and it's just shake your body, 6.30, the way you know, that damn same price. No, that's cool right? if you want to shake it. I don't mind that. No, thing. I know, but that's just but not I'm, who you I'm are. Right? Like, I just want to tell you more. Even if I'm telling you to shake your body and the stuff. I still want to give you more because mm. I think we have enough of that. I want to shake and dance too, so I can listen to that. Mm. But I have to give you something different. Mm. Is that probably why you wanted to be a history teacher in, if you didn't pursue music? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think history is interesting. Okay. I love culture. I think it's cool. Yeah. So that's why I said history teacher, just because a lot of things that I know, I want to share with people. 
You know, I just don't want to have the knowledge in my brain. I want to tell people things. Okay. All yeah. right. So now the gift is here. So they want to the give you some stuff. Here. So this is from the So they want to give you a shuka. I don't know if you did. You get any shuka? No. No, you haven't. Great. Okay. So. Respect, brother. Respect, Turn right. around, please. Oh, are we? Oh, res- we're all respected. Can you turn around so that the camera can see you, please? There we go. Okay. So do you think you can wear this, Taurus? Wear this. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I could see you performing in this. Can you guys see him performing? Well, maybe in this? I can't perform it. Cause maybe I move up and down too much. Yeah, and then this will fall. But I can take it home and wear it in my house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're yeah, gonna give about, you. What about something? That like one you can wear. Oh yeah, for sure. The right with the this. Kenyan flag. You can. I wear have that. a couple of these things. You do? Yeah, but I need the next one. And what yeah. about this one? So this is what now? This is a shuka. This is, is a shuka. Now you're a true African Rasta. All right. All right. Um, Superman. Good. Yes, yes, this is your cape. Remember right. the cape we were talking about? That's right. the cape. That's the one. That's the actual <laughs> one. All right, there he is. Thank you Thank so you much. very much. So this yeah. is from La Marti. They're going, we're going to be chatting with them in just a short while. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Welcome this to Kenya cool. once again, Taurus. Yeah. Um, as it's falling. No, I can't Tomorrow make it fall. is going to be a big night. People have been talking about it from from when they mentioned that you're going to be coming through, courtesy, of course, of 103.5 Homeboys Radio. Mm-hmm. So tell us about tomorrow. What can people afford tomorrow, to? Tomorrow, Taras Riley is here with his band, and he's very excited to perform. For the people, sing your favorite songs, have a good time, sing along, jump around, shout, everything. It's all good. I'm super excited. I don't want to talk about it. I want to sing about it. Okay. So it's a pleasure to be here. Kenya is my first love. Mm-hmm. It's the first place I come to in Africa. So even though I give Uganda a song the other day, Kenya is definitely special in my heart. Yes, and so. you already did a song with a Kenyan artist too. Yes, he could, and definitely. Yeah. Me and him are touch the stage also. I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah. and he told me that he, you didn't even know who he was, and you I accepted didn't. to do the, do the song. You were kind enough to fly to where he was to shoot the music video. True. Which was very big of you. Yeah, because he have a good spirit, and like I tell you, you asked me how I choose earlier. Sometimes it's just people vibes. Sometimes you can just feel the energy of people and know that, yeah. Feels right. It feels right. You yeah. have very good energy, Taurus Riley. Thank you so Can much. Can I ask you for a favor, though? Maybe. I want you to maybe. Yeah. Please, just I've given you a shuka. Yeah, listen, you didn't I've give me the shuka. My brethren gave me the shuka. I, I begged the uh, brethren to yeah, give you so the you shuka. Can, you can't get his favor. I'm, I'm, uh, in fact, he has one with Bob Marley. Actually, we want that one. Can we take that one too? I want this one. Yeah. But okay. I, that one, yeah. I, want, I was gonna take that. One. You like this one? Yeah, man. See, I'm trying to get you all of them. Can you sing me something? Singing, please. Sing something to you. Yes. Like what? For the viewers. Just the way For you the are. For the viewers. Or royal, royal, royal. Royal. No. Please. No. Just the way you are? Uh, no. I will be there when you need me. I will be there when you cry, babe. I will be there when you need someone to tell you that you're beautiful, Kenya. Yeah. All right. I will be there when you need someone to run with. I will be there when you need someone to dance with. I'm your lover till the skies turn gray, yeah. And you're beautiful, Kenya. 